Uh, welcome back to a second part of uh, our tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to continue from the last time. Uh, so we're going to create uh, four different uh, four different icons uh, for our bottom navigation. Uh, first icon will be a cloud icon for our uh, devices text. So um, we're going to create three elements and merge them into a cloud. Uh, two circles and uh, one uh, rectangle with uh, radius. So we're going to resize this uh, bigger, uh, this bigger circle a little bit, uh, so we can make a perfect uh, cloud icon. And it should look something like that. So we're going to select those three elements and we're going to merge them, and uh, change the name to uh, let's say cloud icon. Okay. Next, we're going to change the color to green and uh, we're going to set this icon uh, just above our text okay it will be fine for now uh, we're going to create now a second icon which is um, schedules and uh, I will just copy this uh, our cloud icon down below so I can uh, make the second icon uh, a similar size Okay, create one rectangle and um, remove the borders and uh, change the fill color to um, to gray. Again, we're going to add one more rectangle on the top uh, with uh, just with borders with gray border. And now we're going to uh, resize this a little bit. We're going to open uh, layers and uh, place this uh, main rectangle on the top, like that. Uh, let's just zoom in and uh, increase the size, the height, okay. Uh, now we're going to create uh, three circles. Uh, remove the border, of course. And uh, those fill colors will stay white. Now we're going to create uh, three rectangles with a um, uh, with a radius, full radius like that, and I think we should uh, lower down the height of those um, three uh, uh, X uh, rectangles. Uh, yes, yes, it, I think it's better. Okay, now we're going to remove those and those two circles. Now let's lower down the circle size and perfect. Now let's copy uh, those two elements again and again, okay, and we're going to select them, uh, those, those six elements uh, and uh, move them on the center of this uh, rectangle, something like that. Uh, maybe we should increase the border size to two, but we'll uh, uh, see how it uh, would look. Uh, now let's place these schedules. Uh, just above our text but we're going to lower the size like that and change the border to mm, to one let's say okay and it will be on the center of the schedules text uh, next icon uh, will be groups icon this will be again a simple icon with uh, six uh, rectangles uh, we're going to copy those three and once more okay uh, remove the border and the fill color will be gray. Now let's group those elements and uh, there we go. We have created the groups uh, icon. So now we're going to um, decrease the size of this like that and on just above the groups uh, text. And the final icon will be uh, icon for settings. This is a little bit uh, complicated. Uh, icon but uh, not that much so now let's okay move this a little bit and let's start by creating first uh, a circle uh, with um, border size of five for now or maybe six and create a simple uh, simple rectangle so we need to a uh, little bit uh, modify uh, this uh, rectangle uh, so we're going to move this uh, those 
two uh, those two points uh, on the bottom. Mm, let me try again. Okay, uh, radius. Uh, we forgot to add the radius. And uh, now we're going to uh, to change this a little bit. Okay, and we're going to create one more rectangle so we can um, uh, so we can uh, remove those uh, this uh, on the bottom. Okay, and now we're going to set that on the center like that. Just uh, decrease the size a little bit. Uh, rotate this element on the bottom. Okay, now we need to add um, and two, four, six one, uh, more of those items. Uh, hold shift while you rotate those those elements, so it will be easier for you to uh, catch the right uh, angle. Just hold shift like that. Okay, we have uh, four uh, elements on our uh, circle and we need to add the four more. Okay. Uh, now we are going to um, create more uh, of those uh, elements. Now copy again. And we're going to reflect this and rotate it. Okay. Nice. And we're going to copy those two elements uh, on the bottom. Just to reflect the, them. And uh, we're going to uh, move them a little bit so it will be perfect. And uh, it should look something like that. Okay, this is a settings icon. Uh, we have merged those all elements, and now let's um, move it on the top of the settings uh, text. And uh, okay, like that. So the the right margin uh, of those uh, icons should be around the twenty-five. The and the between uh, margins should be around 50 or, or 60. Uh, you can choose uh, that by yourself. And the last thing we uh, we are left to do is to create uh, one uh, navigation indicator. This it's just a simple rectangle, uh, which will be green color. Okay, just above our uh, cloud icon. And there we go. Uh, we have successfully created our bottom navigation um, with uh, four different uh, icons. So that was it for uh, this tutorial. Uh, please follow my channel, um, subscribe to my channel so uh, you can see uh, more uh, of uh, the design. Uh, there are two screens left for our uh, smart home application. And uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.